I feel like you kind of know you've made it as an editor when you've been vinkified. Wow. Guys, it's okay. Before I get into all the lore of the situation, this this unprovoked situation, this uncalled for situation, I just want to say how crazy it is how, what, one, two years ago, I used to like try Vinkle and CapCut templates and be like, wow, it's crazy how they could possibly take an editor's original work and repurpose it as their own in kind of like a worse way. You get what I'm like hinting at, right? Because that is happening to me. All right, let me just explain the situation. So January 23rd, 2023, I post this edit of my friend Ellie to my Instagram and TikTok. Will I say it was one of my best works? Yes, I will say that. It. I think it was a very good edit, you know, but all in all, I was just really, really proud of that. And creative integrity, that's gonna be an overarching theme of like all of this, I guess, right? I really thought I was very creatively inspired When you, when you finish an edit that you're really proud of, it's like your baby, like that's mine. Like I might not have any legal copyright per se over this, but that is my baby, that's my child. And so, you know, I'm getting a lot of feedback. Everyone's like, wow, this is so good. Like this is some of your best. And I was just really, really feeling the love. However, I was also getting a lot of comments saying, oh, watch this turn into a CapCut template. Just basically bringing CapCut into it when like I hadn't even like thought of CapCut when I posted this edit. I wasn't thinking, okay, they're just gonna, they're gonna do some whatever with it. But I'm just like really not worried because at this point in my editing career, I'm very used to like basically every edit that I post getting replicated in some way. If it doesn't become like a full blown trend, there will still be like people trying to recreate it and people taking in inspiration from certain transitions or just using the audio. So that I am used to. A week ago is when I start to realize, okay, a lot of people are recreating this. Like, I don't know if this is going to turn into a trend, like her of the sun cake. Maybe it'll be more mild, like the king for a day edit. Like maybe it won't go bleh. Like there's so many different things that can happen. I'm just like, there's no purpose in like trying to predict the future with this, right? That was until two days ago. So I am just scrolling on TikTok and someone tags me in a video, right? February 7th. Someone's like, you need to see this. Actually multiple people. And I like see the little TikTok thumbnail of like what the video is. It looks a lot like uh, my video game lover edit. So I'm just like, okay, like, are they tagging me because someone made a recreation? Because someone's trying to claim it as their own? Like what's going on? This is what ends up being like, uh, what I'm tagged in basically. Dancing. Dance. And like, I look at the comments and the likes and everything, hundreds of thousands, like there was one, it had like 50,000 likes, 60,000 comments. There was one that had 100,000 likes. There was one that had 200,000 likes. There was one that had 300,000 likes. But basically, <laughs> I am now a template on CapCut and I'm just like, okay, there's so many things we need to analyze here. One, this is not just like a TikTok user like making an edit on CapCut and then posting it to their account. This is like, you know when like there's a TikTok video and someone uses a filter and there's that little button that says filter. It's like they put in that same button for CapCut. It's like CapCut, try this template. And then through TikTok, you can click on CapCut and then go into the CapCut app and then use the template and then post to your TikTok. It's all so easy. The whole Finn Wolfhard like snapping trend that it's the same concept with that. So it's super easy to use these templates. I, I have been properly templatified. Like literally anyone watching this video can click on that little thing and then go like make my whatever, my, my edit. I've kind of explained the background of all of this. My TikTok notifications are literally crazy right now. That's why I'm filming this video like Thursday, 1 p.m. I have so much homework to do, but I don't care. We're just gonna look through my TikTok mentions and everything right now because it's literally crazy how many videos are being made. And I also just wanna tell you guys, two days ago, February 7th, there were 5,000 uses of the template. As of yesterday, I checked there were 69,000, but that was yesterday at like 8 p.m. I think it's gonna be a lot worse today. And this is just like stressing me out. So if we just pop in like real quick, this template is so cool. So at least this person is being nice, but like you can see, so it has 100,000 likes, 1,000 comments. But guys, the focal issue with this template, like I don't know if you can tell, but I can definitely tell because it's my edit. It's not just like a recreation of it, like someone recreated the components of my edit. This is my screen 
screen recorded edit, like that is my background, that is the Nintendo Switch I made, that is the console, that is like my everything. And what they did is used green screen like motion tracking so that the components of my edit are covered with like whatever people are putting into the template. This is bad for many reasons because this is like actually like the edit I made. Like I don't think the, I think the Pac-Man thing was different and this thing was different because I think mine was better, but you can, this whole, the blocks, that's, that's me, the, that's all me, the switch, that's like, this, I, oh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments being like, you're being dramatic, you're full of yourself. I spent like two, three weeks on that edit, again, like I mentioned, an edit becomes your baby. It is crazy to see how it can be replicated in like, probably five minutes, maybe even less. Like, I'm gonna check it out in CapCut right now just to see what the whole deal is, but it's like, I don't wanna sit here and be like, oh, I'm better because I'm not a template editor and like, templates are the downfall of editing, but it's like, templates are definitely like, making editing different now in terms of like, I don't know, in, in terms of everything. Basically, any like, original creative idea you have, it's never really as original, creative, unique as you think because it can be replicated so easily. And you, you know what this is very similar to AI in real life. Bruh. Chat GPD, GDP, whatever it's called. It's happening with editing. Okay, so so yesterday it had 69,000 uses and now it has 136,000. I look disgusting. I obviously had to recheck the numbers while editing this though. It's up to 420,000. 420,000, yeah, almost half a million. On the road to a million, guys, can we do it? Woo! I am not being compensated. Ah. We're gonna use the template in CapCut. Allow. Like, let's let's like make my edit like part two. I'm gonna use random videos, obviously. Guys, <laughs> let's see how long it takes to make. We're already at 75%. Okay, loading effects. <laughs> Please, I mean. Yeah, that's my yeah ending as well. Okay, that was so much better than the one I made, right? Who agrees? <laughs> I know I might be being a drama queen. Like you guys can roast me in the comments. I don't care. It just makes me sad because I'm like, again, only I know how much like dedication verb I put into it. Yeah, I do think this was made by an individual user though. Um, please like don't send them hate. They actually did a pretty good job of like doing all of that. I just am extremely upset that it can be just used as a template on TikTok and then like this has the potential to like be big and viral. It's also the things that people are saying about it. Like people are like, this is so random. Like what is this? I'm like, you would get it if like you knew, like if you were like a Candace VFX stan, like, like you would get, like it was actually really cool. Like you would get it. Like look, this person said, oh my God, cap cut. Like this is, this. The coolness of this edit is just all being attributed to CapCut. Ah, CapCut's getting so advanced. CapCut, the innovation in question. Wow, CapCut, like, this is amazing. I did send them an email. The email's really funny. I am really good at writing formal emails, but also being able to get my emotions across. Like, if I'm angry, if I want to be passive aggressive, I can do that in a formal way, in a very eloquent way. So I, like, introduced myself, and then I said, in fact, I'm sure the CapCut team is quite familiar with myself and my content at this point. <laughs> you guys previously introduced like a template based on my her or the sun edit whatever. Recently something similar has happened but to a far more nefarious extent. <laughs> the way they made Lauren's edit into CapCut template by. Okay at least people are acknowledging me. I wish templates would get removed so many editors are getting their edits stolen. Thank you. Y'all hate on any CapCut template you find even if it's good. That's the issue. My edit was good but people are now saying that it's bad because it's on a Poor Lauren. No, everyone feels bad for me too. And it's like, I feel bad for me. I guess you guys are curious on what I'm gonna do moving forward. Like, I don't know. I emailed them. I followed them back on TikTok because you know they already followed me. It's <laughs> just so I can message them. This is a bigger issue than just this one edit like being stolen and made into a template. This has been an issue. It's an issue with the fabric and foundation of their app, which like, who am I to talk? Who am I to criticize? You could make that argument. It's just for an editing app that like values user feedback and input and creativity so much allegedly you would think that they would value like that individual creative integrity just a little bit more maybe police that a little bit better I don't know I'm just kind of freaked out that my template had 5,000 and then 20,000 and then 70,000 and then now over a hundred thousand uses in how many days and I'm seeing no form of credit compensation but yeah I guess I'll just end this video off with editors you need to value your work. The way these apps and companies that 
you hold on this like huge pedestal whatever the whole way they're able to run and be successful is literally just because of you guys and the stuff that you decide to make right thank you guys so much for watching i hope you all enjoyed this very spontaneous literally non-coherent very emotionally driven cathartic video and also kafka if you're watching this there aren't that many hard feelings, but there are definitely feelings. So, video star, you've always been my favorite at the end of the day. Okay, bye bye. <laughs>